food production has been made even more interesting. It's big, it's new, it is farmer's check. Join Jeffrey Chepkoni as brings you new farming techniques and lofty enterprising ideas on the farm on KTS every Tuesday. Don't miss. We are still on the Farmer's Tech program. I'm Geoffrey Chepkoni and today we are at Kakameka, Kuisero, Kuisero, sub-county. And with me we have one of other farmer who has done kale farming and uh, as you can see he is using Rivayala as an irrigation, as a source of water for irrigation. And we would like him to introduce himself and tell us more on what he, he has done in this, in this farm. Yeah, Karibu, tell us your name. I'm Abraham Kutswa. Mm -hmm. I'm a farmer from this uh, sub-county. Mm -hmm. uh, as you can see, uh, we engaged in a uh, hot culture, but uh, for this uh, uh, season we are doing some kale farming. Mm -hmm. And we are, this is a, uh, a dry season. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to take advantage uh, of us being close to Rivayala. Mm -hmm. So we normally to do uh, irrigation farming. Mm -hmm. Yes. So in your farm, how big uh, is the farm that you have irrigated using... The water from your Currently, we are doing uh, close to three quarters of an acre mm -hmm. using the, the water from the river. Mm -hmm. So, how did you come up with the idea? Or before you did the kale farming, what were you doing before? Uh, before that, we were mostly doing uh, maize farming. Uh, but uh, when we, we started uh, uh, realizing there's an opportunity on the market, especially during the dry season, uh, mm -hmm. We chose it. We uh, it's good. We take advantage of uh, the market opportunity of veg vegetables around this time. That's why we we chose to venture into kale farming around this season. Mm -hmm. So this means that you are targeting the the, ra the dry season. What happens during the rain season? During the rain season, quite a number of farmers are able to produce because they are able to access uh, 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 the water that is uh, rain-fed agriculture. So rain-fed agriculture doesn't pay as much as uh, uh, irrigated uh, agriculture. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, talking of Kakamekas, uh, Kuisero Cups up County, are you the only people who are doing vegetable farming or we have another farm around here? Uh, we are not the only one. Uh, there are quite a number, but uh, in Kakamega, irrigation farming is not done so much. Though there are some doing, but it's not done uh, extensively. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, talking of the, what benefits have you gotten or how, low, how old are these vegetables? Yeah, we did plant them, uh, the last, we began planting the last week of uh, November. Mm -hmm. So I can say the uh, two uh, months and a half. Mm -hmm. And around this time around, the, the returns are good. Mm -hmm. Yes. When you say the returns are good, can you clarify a bit? Uh, if you pluck in a week, in a week you are able to make close to 15,000 shillings to 20,000. Yes, in a, week. in a week, yeah. That means in a month you're talking of forty to 50,000. Yes, yes. Okay, talking of kills, what are the challenges? Before challenges, how do you manage the farm? Yeah, we, besides irrigation, we do, we try to observe the various agronomic practices like regular weeding, controlling the pests, uh, applying some uh, fertilizer and also we use uh, manure so that uh, the, the composite manure so that it can uh, support uh, uh, the crop very well mm -hmm. yes where do you obtain the composite manure we, we've been trained by the agricultural uh, officers around so we're able to make the composite uh, manure by ourselves how how uh, you use uh, dry matter, like uh, leaves, you use uh, green matter, we use uh, the cow down from the uh, animals, and then uh, some, some bit of soil. So you, you heap them, and then uh, within a period of about uh, 90 days, your uh, composite uh, uh, manure is ready for use. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you are talking of training. Oh. How has the training been? When did you start the training and who are, who are doing the training for you? Yeah, the, 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 the extension officers in our sub-county, they, they visit us and uh, support us with the training and uh, occasionally with an organization called Action Aid, they've supported us with uh, capacity building uh, that are facilitated uh, by the Minister of Agriculture. And the, the, so the farmers are brought uh, at a central place in a group and then the, the officers train us in various uh, agricultural practices and uh, in agribusiness and that has really helped us so much to approach farming with the agribusiness uh, mind. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, as a farmer, 
you are a youth. Yes. As a youth, what do you tell the other youths who are watching this program? I can encourage the youth uh, 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 farming nowadays. It pays and it is the way to go. Besides seeking uh, employment uh, elsewhere, I can encourage them uh, to consider uh, farming. And yes, farming, but agribusiness. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, let's talk of the challenges you are facing in this farm. Yeah, some of the challenges are uh, because of uh, limited uh, uh, capital at times you we may want to do it extensively as you you are able to see we still have a big track of land that will have done a bigger uh, acreage but because of that that was a challenge that uh, uh, limited us in, in doing it extensively and then uh, uh, occasionally uh, maybe manpower and then another challenge could be we will maybe love to to to, to sell it at a bigger returns, but maybe we are maybe uh, forced to sell it to maybe the the markets that are within within our reach. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, coming back to kale farming, what what other kind of farming do you do, or are you doing kale farming? No, I also do uh, banana farming and uh, especially the tissue culture of, uh, bananas because their returns are good. They take a shorter time to, to mature. And then also, we also do some bit of uh, poultry farming. Yeah, also, we also do greenhouse uh, farming. Yeah. If you compare the different kind of farming, are you seeing this one is more profitable? Yeah, in this season, uh, uh, kales, because of the dry, the demands for the kales or the vegetables are very high. So at this season, this is a suitable yeah, plus uh, uh, greenhouse farming. Mm -hmm. Yes. There are many people who are living along River Yala, all the way from the source near Lake Victoria. What do you tell them? Uh, I can encourage them that this is, a, this is like a, a gold mine they should take advantage of uh, this uh, natural source so that we can we can supply our county and the neighboring sub uh, neighboring counties with uh, horticulture uh, because um at times around this season um, uh, most of some vegetables come outside our uh, our county so this is a big source and i want to encourage uh, farmers and uh, the inhabitants of uh, this county and along riviera that uh, let us maximize uh, this this water for uh, uh, environmentally well okay thank you thank you very much for a few hours we have been with our host with the guest who is a farmer he's a youth also and he has told us many things and how he, he has used the potential of rivayala to grow kales in his farm maybe is there anything else that you could like to tell our audience before you conclude uh, I'll just encourage uh, our audience that uh, is uh, farming the way to go. And I want to give uh, a challenge to both the county government and the national government that uh, for us to attain food security, for us to create employment, they really have to invest a lot in agriculture, uh, uh, not just uh, on, the, on the expenditure part, but uh, uh, their budget, they should allocate so much budget on the development aspect. That is the way we can improve the lives of the youth, the lives of the mamas, and uh, food security will be attained. As you can uh, you understand right now, in the country, there's a, uh, hunger has been uh, declared as a, a national disaster and but uh, the national and the county government should invest a lot in agriculture and that is how the way we can uh, uh, create uh, food security and grow up the economy mm -hmm. thank you thank you, thank you sir. so this has been the farmer's tech program of you i hope you have enjoyed the program and you have learned a lot from the same till next time same time nice time thank you Food production has been made even more interesting. It's big, it's new, it is farmer's check. Join Jeffrey Chepkoni as brings you new farming techniques and lofty enterprising ideas on the farm on KTS every Tuesday. Don't miss.